This is our first game jam and honestly I found it really exciting. Um, it's a great experience and yeah, just throw yourself in at the deep end and see what you learn from it. So. Yeah, it's really great to just kind of jump in and you know, sort of throw yourself into it. We know we've never done anything like this before, so we just straight away just off the bat just learn as fast as you can and, and get on with it, I suppose. We had a show and tell um, yeah, where we had some other students from the university come and play our game, see what we're doing, and it went really well. We had a few people come and give us advice, some people played it and just gave us their thoughts. Also, it was really helpful. We've taken ideas from them to help improve what we're going to do. Uh, our, our team is called Team Win. Uh, when we first uh, had the theme change we decided that we're going to do something along the lines of a chameleon because a chameleon changes colour based on its surroundings so if we go into the game here as you can see you start off like a, like a chameleon just green uh, as soon as you eat the red bug you become red and now since you are red you are able to walk across the red platforms if you eat a different colour that colour. So I just say yellow, so I became yellow, and now I'm no longer red, so I will fall through this platform. The aim of the game is basically to just, uh, get, as, get as many bugs as possible and then reach the end of the level. We also decided to make it accessible for colourblind people, so we added patterns as well on the colours. So the matching patterns uh, refer to the colour of the chameleon and also the colour of the leaves and the bugs. So mm -hmm. even if you can't distinguish between the colours, you can still understand what's going on. Hi, we're Charlie's Angels and uh, our game that we've made here is Stemo Star. So uh, when we first saw the concept of change and such, we first kind of thought of a game like a seasonal game, uh, thinking you know towards like a god mode sort of thing. But we ended up uh, on the topic of making a platform where the nature and the abilities of your character changes uh, dependent on a dial. So as you can see here in the uh, gameplay that's going, coming up, um, we have two kind of characters. So the starting one here is a uh, fireman, as we've dubbed him, a little fire character that can double jump. Um, in addition to this, he has all the kind of normal slew of uh, platforming things. These were the things that we first focused on as we started to make our game, knowing that good controls and uh, good uh, kind of management and being able to like, navigate around the play space is going to make for a good game. We're Team Zephyr, and our game is Climate Meltdown. It's a game of, uh, that aims to raise awareness for climate change issues in our world today. Um, so we have a start menu uh, and buttons that launches the game. The main aim of the game is to escape the melting ice, which is falling away behind you automatically. Our character is a penguin, and he is in the melting, deformed uh, Arctic, which has you know factories and stuff being constructed, um, oil spills, that sort of thing. And he's the aim of the game is that he's trying to save his family. Um, about falling into the ocean, which is really polluted with oil spills and all that sort of stuff. Uh, this is, uh, our team name is Ye Ye. Uh, this is our game, Change Arena. Now, the theme, uh, which was Change, uh, for our game, uh, we had uh, an arena-based game where there are two factions, uh, red and blue, both being circles, uh, and the objective of the player is to basically change sides and attack the rival enemies and not get killed by these uh, mobs so the objective was to keep changing between sides and survive. For this game jam we had got given the theme of change so our team decided to go with a game we like to call Neon Gravity Shifters. It's a very simple arcade style game where you just press one button to change your gravity and you change the gravity so that you can avoid the obstacles and get as high a score as possible. So it's just a space bar control system and you've got a trail coming out from behind your player who will tell you which direction your gravity is going and various obstacles will come along the screen. Yeah, this is uh, the first game jam we've seen at the University of Brighton uh, and I think, I don't know if it's the same for you, but I've been surprised by uh, how enthusiastic everyone is, how motivated they've been. Um, and you're Sandy. Yes, sorry, I'm, I'm Sandy. And this from which studios? Yes. Um, <laughs> 
and they, they've all worked together really well as a team. So uh, they've all got something, which is amazing for yeah. a game jam. They all have something at the end of it, I think and that is fantastic. Yeah, like, every really game, game jam I've been to, <laughs> yeah. half the teams uh, don't actually get to around to yeah. really finishing beat, it. Beat the odds on that one. Like, yeah. uh, and a and real, they're a real like, diverse and interesting uh, way that, ways that they've interpreted the uh, the change brief yeah. as well. So Every team's got a unique idea, a unique spin on it. Um, and the other thing that we were saying earlier is it's, it's been really nice to see that even though they're like they're separate teams and they are competing, but also they're collaborating. Oh, yeah. uh, they're making sure yeah. that all the other teams have every discipline that they need, uh, helping out with the tech issues. Um, no, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> And it's been amazing having these, uh, you know, everyone's got the workstations they need, everyone's got all the, the tools and the software they need, so they've just been able to get on with making the games that they want. Yeah. Yeah.